let's not turn to an issue that's come up in the last 48 hours. Senator Sanders, CNN reported yesterday that, and Senator Sanders, Senator Warren confirmed in a statement that in 2018, you told her that you did not believe that a woman could win the election. Why did you say that? Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. Uh, and I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this because this is what Donald Trump and maybe some of the media want. Uh, anybody knows me knows that it's incomprehensible that I would think that a woman could not be president of the United States. Go to YouTube today. There's a video of, the, of me 30 years ago talking about how a woman could become president of the United States. In 2015, I deferred, in fact, to Senator Warren. There was a movement to draft Senator Warren to run for president. And you know what? I said, stayed back. Senator Warren decided not to run, and I did, I did run afterwards. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by three million votes. How could anybody in a million years not believe that a woman could become president of the United States? And let me be very clear. If any of the women on this stage or any of the men on this stage win the nomination, I hope that's not the case. I hope it's me. <laughs> but if they do, I will do everything in my power to make sure that they are elected in order to defeat the most dangerous president in the history of our country. So Senator Sanders, <laughs> Senator Sanders, I do want to be clear here. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Why did you ask that again? He literally told you in his answer. Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sand Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? Ah! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wow. Hold on. We got to play this thing back. Oh. Um... Oh, hell no. Oh, wow. CNN doing CNN shit. At the same time, can you be surprised? So you're... <laughs> Biology. What? Bro. <laughs> I don't even care no more about this goddamn video. I'm stepping all over the place. My mark and everything. I don't care. Like, I... <laughs> Whoa. Oh, whoa. All right. Whoa. 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 <laughs> I'm not done. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Wow. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm not, I'm, I'm done laughing. I can't. We don't cover a lot of politics here, oh. generally speaking, because I feel like oh. most of the time when I see political commentary, a lot of it's based off incomplete information. We don't have a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. We don't really understand the entirety of what's happening. So I can't make sense of this decision making and why things are happening. So for me, it's just hard to talk on it and offer you guys any real input because I don't understand. What I can tell you is that I think mainstream media is absolutely garbage. Garbaggio. Garbaggio. I'm done. I'm not even in this clip. Put yourself in the mirror. Do this shit alone. I'm done. I'm already done with this. <laughs> I looked into the claim. Apparently, a staffer of Warren told her Sanders said this. She didn't even hear directly. And for this reporter, this one who's like handling the debate, for her to sit there and ask that question, have him deny it once, then reiterate that question, which is like a, you can't win in that kind of question. He's already denied it twice. And then for you to ask that, the woman be like, what was it like when he hit you? He just said he didn't hit her twice. And if she can't firsthand admit that that's what happened, why are you saying it as if it's matter of fact? That's what bothers me. And you know, 
CNN and the DNC in general have done a great job of pretty much trying to dismantle Bernie Sanders campaigns at every point they have. For Bernie Sanders to still be part of the DNC to me is a goddamn joke considering what they did to him in 2016. The way they stole that from him when he was supposed to be the Democratic nominee. I'm so over mainstream wow. politics. To me, I've become apathetic to it because it's just such a lack of integrity, such a lack of moral character for these people to be paid so much money for them to steal our tax dollars, for them to get up there every single time and make a mockery of democracy is just unbelievable to me. I cannot believe that we fund this kind of garbage and it's a joke. It's a goddamn joke. All the Whether you're a Democrat or Republic, it's a joke. All the way from Trashistan in the county of Garbaggio. What did she answer? She said I he did do it. He did say that. That's what she says. At the end of it, they're supposed to do a handshake and she won't shake his hand. She gets mad at him. She's like, you called me a liar on national TV, blah, blah, blah. To me, it's unbelievable that in order to lead our country, <laughs> we elect the people who seem to have the least amount of moral character. I mean, I could go on my street and find people with more integrity than most of those people on that panel. And I'm supposed to take time on my day to try to surmise what kind of... M miss me with that. I'm not interested. Everyone's so concerned with trying to beat Trump that they don't come, they don't care if they, they, they elect a garbage person. They don't care what that person has to do to get there and beat them. They don't care. And I'm like, that's the problem with this continent. We've lost sight of the importance of having character and integrity. And I'm just so sick of trying to choose the lesser of two evils. To choose the one who's going to lie to me the least. How about I choose someone who's going to tell the truth? But it just doesn't seem possible, man. And then the media sources that we're supposed to trust in order to disseminate that information are even more unreliable and are all bought and paid for. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage. And YouTube marks them as trusted sources for us to get our news from on YouTube. It's a joke. It's a joke. Who asked that kind of question? Twice. No, three times. Thrice. Wow. Well, I'll let you go, man. I'm done with this. You let, you, let me go. I dropped out of this sub subject a long ass time ago. The minute she said, I was like, bruv, I'm not even going to, uh. There's there's so much I could say, but why? Why would I even engage in that? Why would I, I would why would I even start with this? No, no. And, and people get mad at me when I'm like, I don't want to vote. And they're like, Abba, you don't want to. Democrats are living in the past. Trump is gonna win again, and I can't wait to see you guys fucking fail. I can't wait. Not because I like Trump or his policies or his ideas, but because you guys are absolute trash. <laughs> You're trash. You're trash. You ain't got to do nothing. He's digging the you guys are digging your own holes. You guys are garbage, man. Anyways, I'm done with this. You done? No, yeah, we're done. I don't even want to do it. Either. Oh, no. I really felt like his rebuttal to her accusation was perfect in terms of saying that, yo, I supported Hillary uh, when she won the nomination. Stole, but we'll say won. You know, she had the popular vote. So I thought his rebuttal was poignant, you know. And I find it very odd that this was said to warn two years ago right and she just sat on it for like two and a half years she just sat on this big revelation about bernie being some kind of misogynistic person behind closed doors and then the day before the debate her team leaks it and cnn just gives her a softball for her to hit a, for her to hit a home run and just and no and she just expects nobody to think that this is extremely staged. That question, the way it was framed, looked staged. Her response to how perfectly neat it was looked staged. You know, the reporter made it sound like, "Oh, this just came to us an hour ago. We just found out that you said this burn." Everything looked super staged, and I'm like, "How dumb do you think we are?" To me, What's almost as insulting as the lack of morals on display was how dumb they thought the viewers were. I don't know. It, it just seems like politicians are still stuck in the past. They still use tactics from way back in the day, thinking it's going to sway us. And it, it is just so disappointing that I'm not surprised that young people are so apathetic in regards to politics. I think this will keep going until we revamp our system because honestly, the way things are set up right now, 